Hey everyone, Roma Aquatics here. Today I'm coming to you with the Yellow King Kong unboxing from Joe's Aquarium. So here we go. Okay, so these are from Joe's Aquarium. They're supposed to be 25 uh, Yellow King Kongs. It was $110, I believe. Maybe a little bit more, but I think $110 with free overnight shipping. And I'm hoping these are really, really nice because they actually got delayed a week because um, he actually didn't have enough. He only had 10 left instead of 25. So he uh, emailed me and asked me if I would wait. I told him that was not a problem. Just make sure you send some nice ones. And he said, I sure will. So let's see if he sent some nice ones. Well, first, let's see if they made the shipping package or, or shipping all right, but I think they did because as you can see, he packages them quite nicely. A little styrofoam container. Uh, they usually, usually are pretty good. He always usually sends some free food, which is awesome. And there's always, um, some newspaper. Let's check, check these guys out. So it says there's 13 of them in here. And it's nice. And uh, yeah, if you watch my few of my other unboxing videos, I always am like, um, I don't know if there's eggs in here or they drop their eggs. If, um, but it occurred to me later on that obviously it's probably purigen. Um, they're just like little small whitish yellow balls. Um, and I've used purigen in the past. And I, I really think he just puts a little sprinkle of purigen in the bag. Which is probably amazing because it absorbs everything. Uh, we do have a dead one in here. Unfortunately. Maybe two. So that's no good. And there's 12 in there. So he sent me 25. Um, it doesn't appear that he sent any extras, which is okay. Oh, there's something down here. Oh, that was the heat pack. I was going to say they felt a little warm. So if anything, I think that dead one might be because of the warmth. Actually, if we could. Give me one second. Okay, right. my uh, laser temperature thing is jigger awesome cheap device here. Uh, 70 degrees. 71 degrees. So they're perfect. Alright, let's get these guys acclimating. Okay guys, so these are yellow King Kong and down in this tank I have orange Sakura. Um, now these orange Sakura are Neos, they're Neo Caradina. These guys are Caradina, um, so they're more closely related um, to the crystals and the Taiwan bees. Um, than they are Neos, such as Cherry Sakura, or Black Rose Neos, or Blue Dreams, or the Orange Sakura. So those are all Neos, um, but these guys um, are definitely Cardinia. Um, so they require a buffered substrate. You can't see mine. It's behind the matte filter, but it's there I have flugel shrimp stratum the same stuff that's in um, my Taiwan B tank uh, I have more of the behind their filter as well um, But basically yeah, these guys are super bright and colorful just um, the Caradina just seem to be more colorful than the Neos and um, I heard the yellow Neos 
um, are kind of fragile, whereas the Yellow King Kongs aren't. So I've decided to go with Yellow King Kongs instead of Yellow Neos for my first yellow shrimp, even though it was a little bit more, well, a lot more expensive. Um, but these guys are super cool and I think it was worth it because you can see how vivid their color is and it's great and I guess no one really knows where these guys came about my theory is um, there's a Caradina called a ghost and um, not like your normal ghost shrimp that you buy at like PetSmart for 36 cents these guys are really expensive uh, but it's called a ghost and it's basically a clear um, clear shrimp and I think they mix those with um, tangerine tigers and got these so I think these are actually Thai bees but that's just a theory who knows but that's why they are in their own tank and they are not in my Taiwan bee tank because um, I don't want the tiger genes getting into here if they have tiger genes uh, but anyway, uh, let's get to some time lapse. All right, everyone, I hope you like that. Uh, they're gorgeous shrimp. Uh, the yellow is incredible. And if they were on a black substrate, they would really, really pop. Um, I did lose one of them, unfortunately. There weren't two, there was one dead one. Uh, but usually when there's one, a couple more will follow. So I'll keep you informed and updated, uh, but hopefully that was just a fluke. But 
if you liked them, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, all right, till next time, guys.